the most distant human-made object, NASA's Voyager 1 spacecraft, is in interstellar space. While Voyager 1 has been a cosmic explorer for more than four and a half decades, it continues to surprise us with findings. In its latest discovery, which NASA experts have confirmed, the spacecraft has detected roughly 1,000 celestial objects during its journey through interstellar space. The existence of these enigmatic celestial objects has left the scientific community puzzled. Are these objects real, or could they be the result of data transmission errors from Voyager 1 to NASA? Is there any possibility that they are the handiwork of extraterrestrial beings? Join us in this video as we delve into Voyager 1's recent detection of 1,000 unknown objects passing through space. Our planet Earth, as stunning as it is, is just a tiny speck when compared to the vastness of the universe. Philosophers had long contemplated this notion, but it wasn't until the 1970s that NASA scientists had the means to prove it. However, this pivotal invention might never have come to fruition if it weren't for a unique celestial occurrence involving the four largest planets in our solar system. This alignment, initially overlooked, was brought to our attention by Gary Flandro, a PhD student at the California Institute of Technology, who was also working part-time at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. Flandro was busy charting the orbital paths of the massive planets Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune when he made a truly remarkable discovery. He found that in the late 1970s and early 1980s, all four of these planets would be aligned in a celestial arrangement, resembling pearls on a cosmic necklace, with the Earth right in the middle. This revelation excited Flandro's superiors at NASA because he had been tasked with finding the most efficient way to send a space probe to Jupiter and the other massive planets. Flandro's calculations showed that by utilizing the gravity assists from these planets, the journey time between Earth and Neptune could be dramatically reduced from 30 years to just 12 years. However, there was a catch to this thrilling discovery. This alignment only occurred once every 176 years. Therefore, to take full advantage of this unique cosmic event, a spacecraft had to be launched in the mid-1970s. This valuable insight made its way up the ranks at NASA, and the space agency saw the significance of seizing this extraordinary opportunity. To do so, they initiated the development of two spacecraft, famously known as Voyager 1 and Voyager 2. These two space probes are essentially identical twins, sharing the same specifications and mission objectives. However, they embarked on their journeys just 15 days apart in the summer of 1977. Voyager 1 specifically was launched into the cosmos on September 5, 1977. These spacecraft were part of the Voyager space program, with a mission to explore our solar system and venture into interstellar space for the betterment of our understanding. Voyager 1 has now been in operation for nearly five decades, consistently communicating with the scientific community through NASA's Deep Space Network. It dutifully receives commands and transmits invaluable data back to Earth. Thanks to the efforts of NASA and its Jet Propulsion Laboratory, we are able to closely monitor real-time information regarding its distance and velocity. As of August 2023, Voyager 1 was positioned a staggering 24 billion kilometers away from our home planet. This remarkable feat establishes it as the most distant human-made object from Earth. The primary objective behind NASA's launch of these probes was to engage in exploration beyond our planetary borders, encompassing outer planets, the heliosphere and the interstellar medium. NASA held a deep-seated fascination with uncovering the mysteries that lay amidst the stars, and the Voyager mission was a momentous step towards transforming this aspiration into a tangible reality. Early in the mission's conception, NASA scientists decided that the spacecraft needed to embark on flybys of the gas giants Jupiter and Saturn, with a special focus on Saturn's largest moon, Titan. It's noteworthy that despite Voyager 1 being launched after its twin counterpart, it reached Jupiter ahead of Voyager 2. In the course of its journey, Voyager 1 meticulously explored these two gas giants, delving into the intricacies of their meteorological phenomena, magnetic fields and magnificent ring systems. This journey yielded a wealth of invaluable data, including detailed imagery of the diverse moons that orbit Jupiter and Saturn. 
But the Voyager mission wasn't content with its study of Jupiter and Saturn alone. Beyond these gas giants, the intrepid spacecraft pressed on, venturing into the realms of the outer heliosphere and further expanding its mission profile to explore the mysteries of the interstellar medium. A historic moment arrived on August 25, 2012, when Voyager 1, boldly crossing the heliosphere, entered the uncharted territory of interstellar space. In this incredible achievement, Voyager 1 secured its position as the very first spacecraft to reach this milestone. Remarkably, the confirmation of Voyager 1's presence in interstellar space arrived two years later in 2014. During this time, the spacecraft encountered a third wave of coronal mass ejections from the Sun, lasting until December 15th of that year. These findings underscore the extraordinary accomplishments of Voyager 1 over the past four decades, making it easy to forget that the spacecraft's launch in the summer of 1977 faced a near failure scenario. This close call occurred when part of the launch vehicle malfunctioned, causing 1,200 pounds of propellant to remain unburned. Voyager 1 has once again become the centre of attention in the scientific community due to its recent detection of approximately 1,000 unknown objects in space. This finding has raised concerns within the scientific community because very little is known about these newly discovered celestial bodies. Adding to the puzzle, the transmitted data was initially corrupted only being rectified after students implemented a method to redirect telemetry data to a functional computer. Imagine the bewilderment of scientists when they were continuously receiving problematic interstellar data from space. The team at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory swiftly initiated an investigation to determine the source of this unusual data. They discovered that the problematic data was originating from the Attitude Articulation and Control System AACS, an onboard equipment responsible for measuring, reporting and adjusting the vehicle's position in space. This system features an antenna directed towards Earth, enabling it to transmit data back home. Upon closer inspection, scientists identified that the AACS had switched to sending telemetry data through an onboard computer that had remained inactive for years, causing it to become corrupted. NASA engineers resolved this issue by instructing the AACS to once again transmit its data through the correct computer. As a result, NASA has resumed receiving uncorrupted data from Voyager 1. The lingering question is why the AACS initially switched to the malfunctioning computer. While NASA scientists have not yet reached a conclusive answer, they have put forward a hypothesis that the AACS may have received an erroneous command originating from another onboard computer. However, they have not identified which computer issued the command or the specific fault that triggered this event. Suzanne Dodd, Voyager's project manager, has outlined their plan to perform a comprehensive memory readout of the AACS to scrutinise its entire operational history. This approach is expected to provide insights into the root cause of the telemetry issue. Nonetheless, NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory has assured that the AACS appears to be in good working condition and no onboard fault protection systems have been activated. Consequently, the spacecraft has not been forced into safe mode, nor has its signal strength deteriorated. One potential factor contributing to this anomaly is the extreme conditions of outer space. The cosmic environment can be exceptionally harsh and pose challenges to the functioning of spacecraft like Voyager 1. Variables like cosmic radiation and drastic temperature fluctuations may adversely affect the electronic systems of the Voyager probe and disrupt its operations. For example, the vast regions between galaxies are filled with cosmic radiation composed of high-energy particles originating from distant stars and celestial bodies. These cosmic rays can permeate a spacecraft's structures and interfere with the delicate electronic systems on Voyager 1. Such radiation can induce electrical disruptions, distort data signals and result in memory errors and data corruption. Voyager 1 operates in an extremely hostile environment, with temperatures in these remote regions occasionally plunging to a bone-chilling minus 205 degrees Fahrenheit. In addition to these frigid conditions, the spacecraft is subjected to the effects of micrometeoroids, fine dust particles and fragments originating from asteroids and comets. These factors can significantly impact the spacecraft's performance. 
The plasma wave instruments on Voyager 1, like its twin, have consistently registered dust impacts as the spacecraft journeyed from the vicinity of the Sun into interstellar space. Given Voyager 1's high radial velocity, which reaches 17 kilometers a second, when a dust particle collides with the craft, it's almost instantaneously vaporized and ionized. This process generates a swiftly expanding cloud of plasma, resulting in a voltage pulse detected by the PWS electric antenna. These energetic encounters with interstellar dust grains can potentially cause damage to Voyager's systems. While not yet confirmed, it's plausible that these interstellar dust particles may be linked to the transmission of anomalous data from Voyager 1 to NASA. While various factors have been suggested as potential causes of Voyager's computer system's malfunction, it's essential to avoid limiting the root cause to these occurrences. Some have put forward an intriguing and speculating hypothesis that extraterrestrial activity might be responsible for the unusual event. This concept is gaining attention within the scientific community, with some considering it a conceivable explanation. The hypothesis is founded on the idea that a more technologically advanced extraterrestrial civilization might exist. According to this notion, these aliens possess a greater understanding of space exploration and Voyager may have inadvertently ventured into their vicinity. It's possible that Voyager has explored regions farther than those typically traversed by spacecraft. This could potentially account for why we have never observed these extraterrestrial beings. They might reside at distances too vast for our detection methods. If Voyager crossed into their territory, it's plausible that these extraterrestrial entities might attempt to gain control of the spacecraft, leading to its unusual behaviour. If such an event did indeed occur, proving it would be a significant challenge due to the limitations of our current technology when it comes to exploring certain distances in interstellar space. Additionally, the idea of finding extraterrestrial beings who have potentially remained hidden for millennia and have no desire to be discovered poses an even greater challenge. Hopefully, technological advancements in the future will lead to the development of spacecraft capable of not only travelling greater distances, but also detecting the presence of extraterrestrial civilizations, if they exist. That's all for today. We'd love to hear your thoughts, so please leave your comments below. And while you're still here, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to stay updated on more fascinating videos about space.